What's up everybody? It is Epic Tetsu and today we're doing a new player's guide. Uh, we're just going to talk about a few small things and then we'll make more of these videos as we go on. So first off is we're just going to talk about souls. If you're new to the game, you may not understand exactly what they're for and all that, so we're just going to go over it. Soul spot, you go in here and you'll collect souls and you'll level up your tanks. So right here, you level up your tank. You can use gold to level up the blue and the red tank requires blue souls to upgrade it. As you go through the story, you're going to get more of these tanks unlocked. And what are souls really used for? If you go into arcs, you'll see that there's different levels and whatnot. Now, when you go to level up an arc, it costs either red or blue souls. And leveling up an arc not only increases the uh, skills that you can learn. For instance, let's just click on, we'll do resistor of titans. So at level 9, I will be able to learn the skill Beautiful Curl World. And you can see all the skills in here by hitting the magnifying glass. It costs 530,000 blue souls to level this up, so I'm not doing that right now. As you level up arcs, you also will see more things pop up under arc traits. Uh, a new thing may pop up like the when the skill Scout Regiment is set, you get strength plus this. And some of those things increase. If we were to level this up, you'll see that I'll go to 8% and we get a new deal where it says physical damage cap to bosses is 1,000. So leveling up arcs is for learning skills. Uh, it makes them stronger. The stats go up, you know, HP, strength, etc. Um, you can go over here to arc ether and you can click on that little plus. And this uses your Ethereon towards unlocking the gear. So make sure you hit cancel unless you really want to spend one to put, you know, points towards it. With that said, there's also a library. Um, as you level things up, the library will open up and some have more than others. That's probably a bad one to show you. Let's show you a different one. So we're gonna go to Elemental Arc. At the last stage of 10, I will get an Ethereum. Now on some of these, it'll be Ethereans and other ones will give you actual crystals. So you wanna level up these arcs and you wanna learn those skills. With that said, let's talk one more thing about souls, and that'll probably do it for this video. My app keeps crashing when I keep trying to record. Um, we're just going to go into party real quick. So when you equip an arc on a character, it uses souls. So it'll cost 400 blues and 220s with this setup. Now, if you don't want to like have an arc on a character, you can do that. You can literally just go into here, change skills and equip. I'm sorry. Man, uh, click on the arc. And you can click remove. You can literally do story quests without like using blue souls or red souls. Like other games require energy, but you can actually just do story quests without spending any orbs if you want to. So you can run around and do all that without spending any orbs. You won't be able to learn any skills that way, but usually we use other things for learning skills, but you can do it through that method as well. So that's pretty much it about souls. Um, let's just go to the world map. Hopefully it doesn't crash again. Give me just a second, I'm on mobile. All right, so when you go to the world map, and I'm only on about chapter five, I'm still catching up, you're going to see treasure chests and things like that, this old treasure chest. You just click on those, you'll get items. Uh, later on, chapter four, towards the end, you'll unlock a gold mine, and you can level that up and collect gold from it daily, uh, usually every eight hours. And then, let me do this real quick. I'm all over the place. Let's find, let's go here. Okay, so you see these blue soul spots and like this red one and things like that. So you're going to go around the world and, and do quests and you'll be able to unlock those. And then you'll go back into your soul spot once you have the money or whatever and you'll start uh, upgrading them so you can collect more souls daily so you can use them to upgrade your arcs. And of course, you know, like if you're fighting a tough enemy and need some extra power, equip your arcs, etc, etc. So that's pretty much all I'm going to talk about for that for now. Uh... Use this video uh, to leave me comments down below, things you want to know about, learn about, whatever, as a new player, and I will answer them, or I will make another video that explains whatever it is you want to know about. Uh, take care till then, and I should have a Levi showcase vid or whatever uh, of his final build that I've got going on coming out soon. Take care till the next one.